Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, Dividing Polynomials, Part 2 for our Integrated Math 3 class, Module 6.5. All right, don't forget all your groovy lessons can be found at that website right there. Just make sure you click Integrated Math 3. What are some other ways we can divide polynomials? So in the last lesson, we did long division, and you guys love doing long division. This uh, method, we're going to uh, show you a different way. Um, and we'll talk more about that as soon as we get there. Let's go ahead and do uh, divide this one by long division from yesterday's lesson. Okay, so so this goes on the outside and this polynomial goes on the inside. I don't see any zeros because here's x to the third, here's x squared, here's x, and then here's 1. This is x, and so there's no zeros that we have to insert on that. Okay, all right, so we do x times what gets us 4x to the third? x times 4x squared gets us 4x to the third. Then we multiply 4x squared times x is 4x to the third. And 4x squared times 2 is 8x squared. So we write that right below right there. Okay, and then we do parentheses and subtract. Okay, so these guys cancel. And then 3 minus 8 is a negative 5x squared. Remember doing that? And then we slide down the next guy. And we do it again. X times what gets us negative 5x squared? X times negative 5x right there gets us that negative 5x squared. So negative 5x times x is negative 5x squared. Negative 5x times 2 is negative 10x. Okay, so that's what we write there, parentheses and subtract. Okay, so these guys cancel, and then 2 minus and minus 10 is 2 plus 10, so we get 12x, and then we slide the next one down. Okay, one more time. X times what gets us 12x? X times 12 gets us 12x. So 12 times x and then 12 times 2. Okay, so parentheses subtract, so we get a negative 23. So there's our remainder. So we start at the top, 4x squared minus 5x plus 12 plus the remainder over the dividend or the divisor right there. This is the dividend right here, but plus this negative 23 over x plus 2. Okay, so there's our answer right there. All right, okay, so this is called synthetic division, and I'm going to show you by an example right here, okay? This is going to be called our box number right here, and we just have these numbers. I'll tell you where these numbers come from in a second, okay? So 4, 3, 2, 1, all right? And then so we got this box number. So here's the steps. We slide this guy down right here. That's our first step right there. And then we take this number right here and we multiply it times the box number and we put it right here. Okay, so 4 times the box number, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Okay, and then what we do with these numbers is we add these. 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. Okay, and then we do this guy times the box number. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. And then we add these. 2 plus 10 is 12. Okay, then again, times the box number. 12 times negative 2 is negative 24, and then add those, and we get negative 23. Okay, so, so that is what's called synthetic division, and it really goes fast once you get the hang of it, you guys. It goes much faster than long division. Look, here was section B. Here was section A. These numbers, 4, 3, 2, 1, are these numbers, 4, 3, 2, 1. The box number here is, is when you set this equal to 0 and solve. x plus 2 equals 0, so you go minus 2, minus 2. Your box number is negative 2. You can just say it's the opposite of that plus 2 right there. Okay, synthetic division goes by fast. And then these numbers down here are the coefficients of our answer. Notice your answer is one degree less than the polynomial that we started with. So we started with 4x to the third, so this is going to be 4x squared. Look, here's minus 5x, here's the plus 12, here's the remainder. So the remainder was uh, over, over x plus 2. Remember, the box number is opposite this. So um, so this is x plus 2. We put a minus 2 in there because we set that equal to 0 and we solve for that guy right there. Okay, So synthetic division really works great. And it only works when you're dividing by a linear term like x plus 5 or x minus 1 half or x plus 11, something like that. If you had 3x uh, in there, you'd have to, uh, that's a whole other issue, that it's a, d a different lesson, not this lesson, okay? So you can't divide by something with x squared. 
Uh, that you always have to do long division if it's anything else other than a linear term, okay? So let's use synthetic division to divide by, by this one, okay? The box number is negative 5. Do you see a 0 happening in there? There's an x cubed. There's no x squared, so I'm going to put a 0 in there. These are the numbers. The box number is going to be negative 5, and we're going to, the numbers going across the top are going to be 7, 0, negative 6, and 9, okay? So this 0 stands for the 0x squared. All right, so we just slide the 7 down, okay? So slide that down, multiply that times the box number, and then so 7 times negative 5 is negative 35, and then we add. We add 0 plus negative 35, and we get that. And then we multiply negative 35 times negative 5, and we get... 175 and then we add when we add those we get 169 and then we multiply 169 times the box number okay we get negative 845 and then we add okay so remember we started with a cubic equation the answer right here is a squared equation so it's 7x squared minus 35x plus 169 plus this over our divisor right there. So that would be our answer, okay? Now, oftentimes, you guys, it looks a little cleaner if you just float this negative out in front right there. So, so probably this would be your answer in the back, but this could, this, they're both good answers to me, you guys, so I, I don't care. In my old Algebra 2 book, um, they put uh, this negative, they always floated it out there in front right there. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, determine whether the given binomial is a factor of p of x, and if so, find the remaining factors. Okay. So it is a factor, you guys, if when we synthetically divide and we get a remainder of zero. Okay. If we get a remainder of zero, then it is a factor. Okay. All right, so the box number is going to be negative 3, and then we're going to put numbers across the top. There's a 1 here, a 3, a negative 4, and a negative 12, okay? So there we go. Slide the 1 down, and then times the box number. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, and we add 3 plus negative 3 is 0. And then times the box number, we get 0. And then four, uh, negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. And then times the box number, negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. And then we add, we get 0. So since um, this goes in there and we get a remainder of 0, then this is a factor right there. Okay, so yes, it is a factor because we got a remainder of 0. And since it is a factor, we got some more work to do. We now have to solve, or we now have to factor. Remember, this is x cubed, so this is x squared. And then this is plus 0x minus 4, or just x squared minus 4. Okay, so so let's, and it's called the condensed equation right there. This is x cubed, so this is x squared. So do you remember how to factor a difference of squares? Whoops, I moved that over a little bit. So a difference of squares is x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, so the complete factorization of this polynomial, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12, is the one that, that gave us 0 right here, and these other two right here. So x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. If I multiplied all those out, it would get me this polynomial right here. All right, let's try this again, you guys, okay? So here we go. All right, so um, uh, our box number is negative 1, and we're going to plug in 1, negative 4, negative 6, 4, 5 across the top right there. For And if we get a remainder of 0, then we're going to say, yes, it is a factor. And then our condensed uh, cubic equation, it'll be cubic equation because this is a fourth root equation or fourth degree equation. So this will be a third degree equation of our answer. Now, if it doesn't get you zero, then you're done. You just say, no, it's not a factor. And so there are no more factors. Okay. All right. So here we go. I just slid it down. So there's one times the box number. And then we add these guys. Okay. You get negative five. Time, negative five times the box number. Negative one is positive five. And then we add these guys and we get negative one times the box number is one. Add is five times the box number is negative five. So we get zero. So yes, x plus one is a factor. Okay. So now what we're going to do is factor this cubic one x cubed minus five x squared minus one x plus five. Okay. Four terms. Do you remember what we did when there's four terms? We factor it by grouping. Just remember when we group the second two right here, if there's a minus in there, then it's going to change uh, this sign right here. Uh, to a minus right here. Whoops, I think I goofed right there. So this should be a minus right there. I don't know where I got a plus right there. 
Come on, pewter. There we go. Let's change that to a minus right there. Okay, so so um, just remember, so when we factored out that negative, it's going to change this sign to a negative right there. Okay, so there it is. I goofed right there. Sorry, I'll have it all squared away by the time you guys get into my class right there. So we pulled a a x squared out of these guys we're left with x minus 5 we pulled uh, the negative 1 out we're left with x minus 5 I got to keep changing that as we're going otherwise I'll forget you guys all right so um, so this still factors this red guy right here still factors x squared minus 1 factors to x plus 1 x minus 1 okay so there it is right there Sorry, right, I'm just gonna a little OCD on that. That bugs me. All right, so there it is factored right there. The rest of this factored right there. So this guy, this whole polynomial is this factor times these three factors. Can you see x plus 1 repeating? So we'll just call it x plus 1 squared, okay? So the um, complete factorization of p of x is given right there, x plus 1 squared, x minus 5, x minus 1. All right, if you guys are in my class, uh, I want you to do those pages, 9 through 15 all. Okay, and then numbers 9 through 11, use the first sentence in the directions only and write your answers as a mixed number, you know, like uh, like what we did uh, before, you know, a polynomial plus the remainder over what we were dividing by right there. And here's your remainder so you can check your answers. All right, you guys, take care.